the RSI 4555 band is very helpful in a trending market. Now, how an uptrend happens? It goes up and up and up and in between there are minor consolidation or correction. Similarly, in a downtrend, there would be minor pullbacks or minor consolidation and eventually the price goes lower. What happens in an uptrend is that after the initial thrust, normally the RSI moves in a range that is higher than 50. Now it goes to the overbought zone or close to the overbought zone and then it comes back to the 45-55 zone and then during that final pullback when the RSI is 45-55 range we can see that the stock bottom out in those minor pullbacks and the stock or any other financial instrument if it has to be maintained the trade it starts the upward journey or resumes the upward journey from that point of time and moves higher similarly in a downtrend after the initial down move when the rsi moved close to the oversold region then the rsi from close to 30 level or from the oversold region move back to the 45 55 band when the stock is consolidating or the stock is having minor pullback and when again the rsi breaches that 45 level the stock resume its downtrend and fall lower and lower and lower so let us understand this with the example here here we can see in the icici prudential life insurance stock chart what we can see that since july the stock is having a steady down move but after the initial thrust downward we could see multiple times the stock had minor pullbacks so when the RSI also moved simultaneously towards the 45-55 band. So this was a good opportunity. We could understand from the indicator that the pullback is towards the end and we could take short trade into the stock when the 45 level was breached or when it was close to 55 level assuming that we would uh, stop loss our trade when it actually goes above the 55. So, the RSI falls and when it comes to 45-55 level, we take a short trade as thinking that if the RSI goes above 55, we will cut our trade. But if when the RSI fell below the 45, we could see that the stock also moving much lower. Similarly, as we can see in the SDFC, the stock was moving higher and higher from the beginning of 2017. And now, in the case of HDFC, multiple opportunities were provided by this 45-55 band. Basically, the 50 line, 5 points up and 5 points below. When the stock was bottoming out, the RSI was close to 45-55 level. So, if someone have taken a long trade, keeping a small stop loss in these cases, they could have entered the rally or gain profit with this. So, this is an example where in uptrend we buy on dips and in a downtrend we sell on rise this is the ideal swing trading example with the help of rsi 4555 band now we will look at another example which is a slight variation of this same 4555 band but we will be utilizing various time frame we won't be using the 45 55 band exactly but we will be looking at the rsi in different time frame and try to gain similar kind of trades so let us look at the strategy 